today I'm just going to be going over some uh, Nerf guns. You can see I have quite a few here, but I'm just going to be going over uh, the Busby double shot. Uh, all these are going to be Busby today. I have most of my guns are actually Busby brand, but uh, we're going to be going over uh, these four. I'll have all the rest hopefully in a uh, different video. But today I'm just going to be going over the uh, the Cougar, the Double Shot, the Hunter, and the Rapid Fire Tech. Um, all these guns pretty much have something in common, whether it be the way the me fire method, the darts, which all of them fire the same darts because they're Busby. But recently Busby has actually um, added the new type of dart, the uh, sticky darts, which I personally don't wouldn't favor. Because I would think they get really dirty really fast. But, um, alright, let's get started with uh, this one. Now, this is the uh, rapid fire tech. You can see it has a clip, a removable clip right here. So you can just take it out. It holds um, seven shots total, including one in the uh, actual chamber. And what it does is it actually has these um, shells, and it holds one of these darts in here. And, um, I thought this gun was actually pretty neat just because the shells actually pop out when you're done with them. So as you can see, if I just go ahead and fire one right here. Now when I unload it, sorry, I'll unload it, and, sorry, I don't know if you can see that, but the shells just kind of pop out here. I only have one hand available. You can see the shells just kind of pop out if you have it turned the right way. And this is actually one of the first um, Nerf guns, not just uh, air guns, I guess, <laughs> I've actually ever had. And I didn't know it even had a shell in it until like weeks after I got it. I was actually pretty little when I got it. But you can load it this way. and um, Or you can have like seven shells in the clip and you can put it in that way and you can have this open. But I just prefer to have all of the shells in there. And it's popping in there. Um, it's it's a fairly good gun overall. It takes a little while to reload because you have to get the shells and the clip and the one in the gun. But you, some, you don't have to get the clip in, but it it's going to hold a lot more shots. It has two barrels up here. Um, only one of them actually fires. It's the other ones, I guess, just for decoration. Um, when you pull this back, this is this. Uh, nozzle thing kind of comes out then you can see and the dark pops out so that is the um, rapid fire tech I'm not actually sure why they call it the rapid fire due to the fact it's like not even semi-auto like he it's that wasn't a very good thought out name but um it's you can see it has kind of a nice color scheme has a lot of colors in it I think that's one thing Busby has over Nerf because Nerf as you can see, mainly has like the each year they have a different color scheme. So, yeah. But that's pretty much it. You can see it fires fairly well. Uh, I might show a fire test of all the guns in another video, but to save time, I'm just going to uh, go to the next gun. Oops. Get that shell. All right. The next gun is the double shot, and I think this is just a very neat gun. I think Busby makes guns a little bit more dur uh, not durable. Nerf makes their guns more durable, but uh, Busby makes them, I think, just a little bit more cool, if you know what I mean. As you can see, the Overlord, the uh, the Range Master, and the Double Shot, I think they're just a little bit more you know, unique in the way they fire or shoot or whatever. So you can see their shells actually pop out when you unload the gun with these shells the same ones in the rapid fire tech but um you have to pull break it down kind of the shell holds two in there if any of you play black ops this is just like the olympia that you buy off the wall on zombies or in, or in campaign it doesn't matter it's just like the olympia pretty much holds two shots the shots pop out um it actually has storage back here in the back holds two darts so overall, it holds four darts all together. So it's uh, pretty nice. 
Um, the range is actually pretty good. You can actually choose to fire both shots at once or one. I'll show you that right here. Um, you can fire one if you pull the hammer a little bit, like to pull the trigger about halfway back. Or you can fire two. I'll fire one. Or you can fire the other one by pulling the hammer all the way back. But um, you can fire both at the same time if you wish by just um, pulling the hammer all the way back. And um, that's pretty much it for the uh, double shot. Now you can see you press this little switch on the top and it puts, breaks the barrel down. And the, and the empty shells or full shells will just kind of spit out and you can just stick them back in there. Sometimes they won't go in there. You have to have the gun angled a little bit of a certain way. But I don't, I don't fool with that right now. Um, the next one is the uh, Cougar. You can see it has a little bit different color scheme than the rest. Kind of has the newer one. I know the uh, double shot has the newer color scheme, kind of to match this one. I saw it the other day. Um, this one's really unique because it has just the um, darts you actually put in a clip, not the shells. And there's a little ridge on one end right there. You can see where it kind of bumps up and it's not on this end. So that kind of tells you which way to put it in. It's kind of like a little um, submachine gun. Now, it's actually weird because this actually, um, you can shoot it like that. You can have one dart in there. No, you can't. No, you can't, actually. You have to have the clip in there to fire it. So you can see you can fire it just by pulling the trigger here. But the unique thing is, once you put the uh, clip in, um, you can actually have to pull the, like, the stock of the gun back to fire it. Sorry, it's hard doing this with one hand. You can see if I do this, it actually moves this upward. So if you continue to do that over and over, it gets easier once you cock it too. You can see if the darts actually move up. Yeah, that works. The darts actually move up, out, and when you're they when you shot the darts. Just take it out, fill it back in, stick in the bottom. You can have multiple of these clips, but I don't think you can actually buy these separate. You actually have to buy multiple guns. I kind of think of this gun as the Chickum of Black Ops. Um, I'm not sure why. I guess it kind of looks like a little bit. And um, the range is okay. Not the best. Oops. The clip actually falls out pretty often if you don't have it in there securely. Mm, cock it again. There we go, sorry. You can see the range. Well, this isn't a very good range test, but the sights um, don't actually have anything to ready to look down. You see, but once the clip moves up, it kind of gets in the way of the sights. So it kind of looks like this. So you can see, you don't really know where you're aiming. <laughs> but it fires single shot. Um, it's just semi-auto, kind of. Um, I think it's just a neat gun overall. You know, kind of has a useless barrel up here. Most Nerf guns actually have the useless barrel up here. You can actually saw. That one actually doesn't have much of a barrel on this one. Kind of has a snub nose almost. Um, you can see the. Um, oops, sorry. You can see the Range Master over there actually has the long barrel, which you can actually detach from it. But, um, anyways, that's the uh, Cougar. I actually had its counterpart. The Panther, I think. No, there's the Panther and the Jaguar. I don't actually have the Panther. The Jaguar almost works the same way. The uh, clip still moves up, but I'll cover that in another video. And um, the next one, the last one, is the uh, Hunter. And it's it's neat because it actually holds these darts on the side, almost like a, an attachment rail for a Nerf gun. But it just kind of holds only two darts. But also it holds four more darts in the back right here. So that's neat. It's a, a kind of a bolt action. So you just pull the bolt up, push it back, and you have a dart in there. You don't have to have it pushed in there. You can act, wait a minute. Um, you don't actually have to have to push in there before you, uh, before you, uh, like, let me show you. Oops. And you don't actually have to have it pushed in there all the way. Like I'm saying, you can just have it like that, and it kind of pushes itself in there. You don't actually have to have, have the um, hammer pulled back, or the uh, thing pulled down here. You can fire it either way. I put green darts in here, and it comes with uh, yellow darts. But I just put green darts in here just for the sake of uh, 
making it look a little bit cooler. I imagine this is the Remington shotgun because it holds these two on the sides, even though it pretty much looks nothing like the Remington. But, you know, I thought it was kind of neat. You don't have to pump it multiple times. Just put it in there once and it's ready to go. You don't have to pump it like you do the uh, Range Master over there. You have to pump it like six or seven times to actually get it to full uh, air tank capacity. Um, so this that's about it for the uh, these Nerf guns, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed this. This is my first video, so you know, give me some slack if you don't like it. <laughs> you know, I I'd really be happy if anyone watched this, even if I get negative comments. I'm just happy that you know I got it out there. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll make some more in the future if you guys want me to. Um, thanks. Bye.